A320 Mentor Channel. The 330 A340 family has two ATC transponders, which transmit several parameters upon ground request. These parameters can be speed, Mach, and barometric vertical speed data from the ADRs. Heading, roll, ground speed, track and inertial vertical speed data from the IRs. Selected altitude and barometric reference settings from the FCUs. The different parameters are transmitted to ATC-1 by ADR-1, IR-1 and FCU-1. ATC-2 by ADR-2, IR-2 and FCU-2. Note, in case of ADR-1 or 2 failure, the ADR-3 can be used through the air data switching selector as shown. A control panel, located on the center pedestal, allows the crew to operate the ATC. Selects ATC transponder 1 or 2. Enter, display, clear, send a code assigned by the ATC. Send the barometric standard altitude data if fault, RPTG switch, to on, and the mode selector allows, when it is, in standby, to electrically supply both the TCs, but to keep them in standby, or in on, the selected ATC operates in all modes, or in auto. If on ground, the selected ATC operates only in mode S, selective aircraft interrogation mode. If in flight, the selected ATC operates in all modes. Note, a light comes on in case of one ATC fails. A traffic alert and collision avoidance system, TCAS, provides the crew with traffic information and warnings of potential conflicts. Traffic advisory, TA, with avoidance instructions, Resolution Advisory, RA. TCAS, can only detect and indicate other traffic, which is a transponder. The TCAS detects intruders flying within a maximum range of 100 nautical mile and within a maximum altitude of 9,900 feet above and below the aircraft. The TCAS obtains data from the transponders of nearby aircraft and uses these data to calculate the threat of collision. The TCAS interrogates the transponder of the intruders and determines for each its relative bearing 
its range and closure rate, and its relative altitude, if equipped with ATC mode C or S. Then, the TCAS computes the intruder trajectory with the estimated time, TAU, before reaching the closest point of approach, CPA. Each time, the relative position of the intruder shows a collision threat. Oral and visual advisories are triggered. Visual advisories are displayed on both NDs. The oral alert and vertical orders ensure a sufficient trajectory separation and a minimal vertical speed variation, taking into account all intruders. The ATC control panel, located on the pedestal, also allows the control of the TCAS system. The TCAS part of this panel has a mode selector, which allows the operation of the TCAS in standby or in TA when the aircraft performances are degraded. Vertical order will be not generated, or in TRAE, which is the normal selection. A traffic selector, which displays proximate and other intruders within an altitude range, which depends on the selection. The normal selection is all. The TCAS divides the space around the aircraft into four volumes in order to categorize potential threats. Resolution Advisory RA. Traffic Advisory, TA, Proximate Intruders and Other Intruders. On the MD, a Resolution Advisory, RA, indicates a high threat of collision, associated to one oral alert. Climb, climb. A Traffic Advisory, TA, indicates a potential collision threat associated to one oral alert traffic traffic approximate intruder indicates that there is no collision threat other intruders indicate that they are in the detection envelope of the TCAS but are not part of any of the three categories above All the MD Rose modes and ND Arc mode can be used to display only the eight most threatening intruders. On the MD, the arrow indicates the vertical speed and the number indicates the relative altitude. If no bearing of TA or radio altimeter intruder is available, range and relative altitude, if present, are displayed at the bottom of the MD. Traffic advisories, or resolution advisories, are associated to a related RL alert, depending on the situation. They can be Traffic, traffic When only TA is detected Climb, climb When the current vertical speed is below the green area Climb, crossing climb, climb, crossing climb As the previous alert, and indicates that you will cross through the intruder altitude Increase climb, increase climb if the climb vertical speed is not sufficient for a safe vertical separation, descend, descend. When the current vertical speed is above the green area, descend, crossing descend, descend, crossing descend. As for the same climb alert, increase descent, 
Increase descent. As for the same climb alert. Adjust vertical speed. Adjust. In order to stay in the green area, by reducing the climb or descent vertical speed. Climb. Climb now. Climb. Climb now. When descending, and the intruder trajectory has changed. Descend. Descend now. Descend. Descend now. As for the same climb alert. Monitor vertical speed. To ensure that the vertical speed will not enter the red area. Maintain vertical speed. Maintain. To keep the vertical speed in the green area. Maintain vertical speed. Crossing maintain. As for the previous alert, and indicates that you will cross through the intruder altitude. Clear of conflict. No more problems, and you may return to the assigned clearance. In case of RHA detection on the PFD, the vertical speed scale is now rectangular, the vertical speed needle is now white, and the color of the digits depends on the green or red area. Red area. Vertical speed range with high risk of conflict or green area. Vertical speed range recommended. If the MD is in plan mode, and a traffic advisory or resolution advisory is detected, Traffic! Traffic! A message is displayed on the MD to draw the pilot attention to change mode. In rose or arc mode, and if a TA or RA is detected, a message is also displayed when the MD range is above 40 nautical mile to draw the pilot attention to select an appropriate range. Note, depending on the advisory level TA or RA, the ND mode and range messages will be in amber or in red. TA only is displayed when the TA mode is selected automatically or manually. A green MIMO TCAS standby is displayed if the TCAS mode selector is on standby position, or if the ATC mode selector is on standby position, or if ALT reporting selector is set to off, or if both ATC transponders or both radio altimeters have failed, or in the case of triple ADR failure. Note. During the cruise flight phase, if TCAS standby has been selected, the MIMO message will be in amber, and an ECAM caution message will be triggered for crew awareness. If TCAS system is faulty, an amber indication is displayed on the PFDs and on the MDs associated to one ECAM caution message for crew awareness. A320, Mentor Channel.